Question 22 is the last question on the paper, so you'd expect it to be one of the harder ones. It says N stands for a whole number. N is just a mystery number. It then says 2N is greater than 30. And all that means is two lots of this mystery number is bigger than 30. And five lots of the mystery number, 5N, is less than 100. So we've got to write all the numbers that N could stand for. Well, to make this a bit easier, I'm going to replace the greater than with an equals. And I'm going to replace the less than with an equals. Now let's just look at these statements now and see how much easier it is. If two lots of this mystery number was equal to 30, then that mystery number would need to be 15. Because two lots of 15 equals 30. If five lots of the mystery number is 100, you share 100 by 5 and work in reverse, 100 shared by 5 would be 20. So in that case, n would have to be 20. Because 5 20s make 100. So what we're going to do now is get rid of these crossings out and now think about what it means if it isn't an equal sign and it is greater than. So if it isn't an equal sign and it's greater than, all we need to do, if 2n is greater than 30, we just need to now say on this top statement that n must be greater than 15. And on the bottom statement, 5n was less than 100, so 1n must be less than 20. So all we're looking for now is what numbers are greater than 15 but less than 20. So if I write all the numbers out, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, there's all the numbers between 15 and 20. Greater than 15 but less than 20 is these numbers here. 16, 17, 18, 19, they're all greater than 15 but they're all less than 20 so they are the numbers I need to write on the answer space and if you double check each statement two of these must be greater than 30 so two 16's would actually be 32 two 17's is 34 two 18's is 36 and two 19's is 38 so that all works out and five of those numbers must be less than 100 so let's double check five sixteens if you work it out five sixes are 30 five ones are five plus the three is eight so that's 80 five seventeens it's going to be an extra lot of five on there so that's going to be 85 five eighteens is going to be 90 five nineteens is 95 so both of these clues do work out two lots of each number is all bigger than 30 and five lots of each number is all less than 100 so your answers are there on the answer space 16 17 18 and 19 you don't have to do all of this working out this is just to show you why those answers work in terms of the questions